CME researchers shed some light on the pathology to potentially aid the diagnosis and treatment of one of the chronic arthritis diseases, known as ankylosing spondylitis, AS. A data published in BMC Rheumatology claimed that the prevalence rate of AS has doubled from the year 2006 to 2016, among which the men are more susceptible and tend to show signs and symptoms during their early adulthood compared to women. Little is known about the development of this inflammatory disease that causes the small bones to fuse in the spine, resulting in a forward hunched posture. Though there are existing treatment options, they are only capable of treating the inflammation, but do not entirely stop unfavorable bone formation. Professor Shi Che Hung and his team successfully identified a series of pathways affected by the misfolding of the human leukocyte antigen B27, HLA-B27, that triggers the unfavorable bone formation in AS mesenchymal stem cells. His research suggests to target the PIRE1SXBP1RARRBTNAP biological pathways within the enthesis, the ligament and bone connective tissues, to effectively treat AS. The repurposing of the drug pamadroni, with dual effects on TNAP inhibition and osteoporosis prevention, could potentially stop the spinal deformation. Such promising outcomes were observed through their newly developed animal-based disease model, that mimics the bony placement in human, a prospective platform for future drug testing for AS. Using clinical serum samples from AS patients, Professor Hung's research team proved that, the serum bone-specific TNAP levels could be suitable biomarkers to identify high-risk AS patients. Such revelation of the pathogenesis opens up more means to develop effective treatment and prevention strategies for those suffering from AS. Possibly putting an end to the misery caused by the progression of this disease, restoring the quality of life and well-being of the victims, as envisioned by the United Nations SDG3, good health and well-being.